Hi, everybody. This is Dave coming from Bitter Ends. Uh, today, I'm going to do something a little different with the focal point technique. I'm going to be following the normal process in which we do it, but I'm going to take the mechanics out of it today. I'm going to leave my shears in my pouch, and I'm going to be doing this whole top section, bringing into the focal point with the Jetai Feather Light Razor. Uh, sometimes I just like the purity of cutting, and there's nothing more pure than just doing razor work. So I'm going to clean them up, and then we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. So now what we're going to do, like Matthew here, he's, he has great existing texture in his hair already that's pre-existing, and he was just blessed with that, even though he's a ginger. Uh, you notice back here, he has a very pronounced hair whirl. This is where, this is my starting point. Right here, the center of this whirl. I'm going to be bringing the mohawk over, and I'm going to be gradually increasing length to the front, creating that focal point in the very front. So let's get going. I'm first going to use some of my blade glide. Love this stuff. This prevents any ripping, any gripping of the hair at all. I'm going to be using more of a pencil way, or pencil, uh, I guess, holding pattern with us. Let me see right here. There's this whirl. And take it up. So I can create my nice section here. Beautiful. There's my guy. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself you have this micro guard. Therefore, you can actually make contact with your skin and not really worry about slicing into it. So I'm drawing almost like a wave pattern. So it's gonna go up and up and up. And now we have our focal point. You notice my finger angle going all the way to the back. There we go. And very little off the very front. We can always refine that afterwards. We can always take off more hair. Can't put it back on, guys, as you all know. So that was my first. Here's my second. This way. Pick it up. Draw it in like a wave. You just need your guide at the very beginning of each section. After that, just kind of get creative with it. And if you're going to be doing an entire cut, I always suggest put a brand new razor on, guys. So I'm doing four sections. I'm leaving the last two sections out until the very end. That's where all the blending is going to come. So now, remember where we started, in the center of the swirl. So I'm going to come over here. This is my next section. Now, you can do it this way, or you can actually go back into it. We all have a strong side. The main thing is you remember where your focal point is going to. So you can go back in this way. And you can also use a guide from your previous section. As you see, it is right there. So I'm just going to kind of draw into it. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to go the opposite way because I'm more comfortable that way. But everybody do your own thing. There's no absolute in cutting this way. It's all about your frame of mind and your creativity. 
then we can all do better. We can do better for our clients, and that's why we do what we do. But it is, I love the purity of just using a razor. Because once you start hearing that, you need to lube a little bit. Your client will thank you for it, and their hair will thank you for it. You don't want to damage the hair. That is one of the biggest things and misnomers with razor cutting. Everybody thinks, oh, you're just going to destroy the hair. The fact remains, the blade on this razor is sharper than my shears are. And my shears are sharp. Okay, so I did those sections. Now I've got these last two. You can do it one of two ways. You can leave a lot of weight to create a definitive style. Like if you want someone who wants a very corporate style, you want that weight to hold everything down. Or you can actually really utilize texture, which I'm going to be doing. So right here you see this growth pattern. I'm just going to capitalize on that. Let's go into this. Leaving length. And the fun thing is, it's not always about what's on the floor. It's about what's left behind. So I'm going to draw it into his parietal now, just for better grow up. Moving that hair right from the scalp. I'm going to go back here and take care of this pesky hair wool. As you see, it will stick up unless we take the strength out of it. And that's really what we're doing. Taking the strength out of growth patterns with this tool. It's underutilized and if you get in there with texturizing shoes, it's not going to do what this does at all. Now, over the end of this, end of this top cut here, I'm just going to draw this in. You see, just following the guide created by my comb. And we all have those clients that have an ungodly amount of hair. In that case, you can just go to the fine tooth. You have smaller sections. It's more work at the end of the day. It works out great. So, now since I took the shears out of the equation here, we're going to end up with all of this weight right here. So, therefore, I've got this guy right here. I'm going to let that guy fall away. And I'm just going to draw that wave right into that corner where all that weight accumulates. Keeping that focal point. Never straying from that. We want to have the eyes drawn to our eyes. And it looks beautifully. Right here we have a little bit of weight. I'm just going to do a little razor over comb. And that's what's so beautiful about this product too because you can blend so much better using razor than you can with a texturizing shear. I use texturizing shears on beards and kids as I've said many times. And hey, everybody you do, you, you cut hair the way you want to. But I promise you, you will be amazed at the grow outs that you get and how much time you get out of one cut for a client. And they will keep coming back. And yeah, the whole thing, well, I want to see my clients every three weeks. I love my clients. I don't want to see my clients every three weeks. Unless it's for a cleanup. Cleanup, fine. Okay, so this is our general shape. I'm going to wash them, style them, and then we're going to talk about what I created with that razor.
So now he's washed, he's styled. The beautiful thing about doing it in this technique, you can actually ask for more money for your cuts. It makes you more marketable. Look at this texture that I created just by using a razor, just by taking the mechanics of the shear out of the equation. You see how this is going to grow in, how the long pieces are going to incorporate and just really create more texture. The longer this hair grows, the better texture is going to come out of it. This cut will last your clients and you have the focal tech, focal point technique down. If you have any questions about the focal point technique, just look at the first video and that should answer a lot of said questions. So here we go. And, um, my camera person is going to go around and make sure that you see everything. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. And if you have any questions about the technique, more comment, more content is going to be coming. Just leave a like and hey, let's do better. Thanks a lot for your time. I'm David from Bitter Ends and this was a razor cut. Thank you.